Okay, plants done, gravy's done, meatballs are done. I'm gonna make. Ooh, I'm gonna show you how do I do my eggplant with the ricotta. Take an egg, I beat it. I take some, I just use the pavio ricotta whole milk. About half the container. I just use this because I like the extra protein. Grated cheese. Uh, I use about a quarter to a half a cup. A splash of nutmeg. Not a splash, a pinch. Nutmeg. About a half teaspoon of dried basil, half teaspoon of dried parsley, and about a teaspoon, a teaspoon of dried parsley. I do two pinches of black pepper. I do a pinch of salt. Mix this up. Whipped. I'd like use a fork. I don't use a whisk. And I know I don't have to taste it because I'm pretty good. Okay, so what I do is I take a something that you put in the oven that's oven proof. I don't know who made corningware this is, maybe. Yeah, this is corningware. You can use any type of size pan, I you can use longer. Higher, whatever you want to use. I lay it out like lasagna. So I do a little bit of the gravy sauce in the bottom. I layer fourth and eight, four piece of the eggplant. I'll take some of my little bit more gravy, just like this. Take a little bit of grated cheese. Sprinkle, 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 sprinkle. Take a nice helping of this ricotta mixture. A regular eggplant parm is usually just the eggplant, your sauce, your gravy, and mozzarella parmesan. Like I said, I get this because this is all we eat for dinner. So it gives you a good, nice helping of protein, which I need. Okay, and I get the mozzarella, I use, again, I use paleo mozzarella, or I use fresh if I'm making it for somebody else, or I feel like spending the extra money, but this does it good. And what I do, instead of buying, shred it, I cut mine into cubes. I learned this on uh, the one cooking channel, Cooks Illustrated. So when you bite into your eggplant, you get a pe nice piece of mozzarella. Put that on. And believe me, it does make a difference. This is a good way to do it. And I throw another piece of eggplant on top. Man, these are gonna make make nice ones. So I make. So actually, instead of making like a lasagna, I'm just going to make them in, in stacks. That's what my mom does them, actually, which, oh well. I do it this way. And if you use too much, it gets too soggy, so use a little. You can always add more of your sauce or gravy at the end. Sprinkle Parmesan again. A delicious ricotta. Mixture. Oh man, this is gonna be so good. Low carb too, which is awesome. Fucking love lasagna, but it kills you. More cheese.
good. And last layer of eggplant. And pick this one. Oh, that looks pretty nice. Okay, enough for the top. Like a grated cheese. I didn't say it wasn't going to be high in sodium. I don't use that much salt on anything. I'll do a little bit of gravy again. And then top it with boots it out. And on the top, I don't chunk it. I just try to slice it. Or however. And I get it. it's better when you use the fresh boots it out, but we weren't at the store today to get it. I went to the store the other day. I mean, that's it. It doesn't look that good now, but let me tell you, once it bakes, I bake in the oven for 30 minutes at 350. The tin foil on top, take the tin foil off, and I actually broil it for about five minutes. Get it nice and brown. Take it out, let it rest settle for about uh, five to ten minutes, so when you cut into it, it doesn't ooze out, and you have the perfect eggplant parm. That's it. Thanks, guys.